Hey, my name is Kaya Athena and today I'm bringing you a book review of An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon. This is a young adult science fiction book and it is about Esther who lives on board this huge spaceship called Matilda and Matilda has been carrying the population of humans to a promised land for several hundred years now. However, there is a lot of inequality in the ship. The upper decks are for the rich white people and the lower decks are... Uh, those people are more dark-skinned and they have a lot of restrictions posed on them. Here is the synopsis. It can maybe explain it a little bit better than I can. If you want to read it, please uh, pause the video. And I had read... Um, I don't know, in the synopsis online somewhere that Esther has autism which is one of the reasons that I picked this book up. I can definitely see that she has some uh, traits of that. I I was a little bit disappointed in the autism aspect of this book as someone with autism. Esther definitely has a few like uh, characteristics of it. Yeah I just didn't I don't know I, I don't know what, if I can explain I don't know, I, I, I would have wanted to see more of that aspect, I guess. I do like Astralot as a character. Um, a couple of times she made what were, in my opinion, uh, not so very smart decisions. Uh, but for the most part, I liked her. I also liked some of the other characters in the book, but there was one character that just did some things that... I mean, obviously there is, like, the villains of the book obviously I don't like those you meant to not like them but this character that I'm talking about I'm not sure if you meant to like her or not it took me a while to read this book um, there are quite a lot of uh, twists in it and I also want to give a trigger warning for violence because there is quite a bit of violence in this book I did find it really interesting to learn more about the ship and its inhabitants and all the decks and just like the, the world building I suppose you would call that and I found that really interesting. I, I, oh, I should mention I read this book as part of Blackathon. It is currently almost the end of February though by the time you see this it'll be March. So that was the reason I picked, I, I picked this book up specifically this month. I also like that we have some uh, queer representation in this. Yeah, like various characters. I, I like that a lot. I also liked, of course, the the representation of darker skinned people in this. And I should maybe point out that this is a picture of the author. Um, so it is on voices. This is uh, the author's debut novel. Um, the author uses they, them pronouns. As you've noticed, we are now in a different location. But I'm going to continue the book review. I had to be by the front door earlier and then while I was filming the package for uh, my boyfriend arrived so I can do this here now and I don't need to sit by the front door anymore. I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Okay, so I was talking about they them pronouns for the author. There is some uh, discussion in here of gender and some representation, uh, queer representation and all that and I, I like that that was in this book and so also that part is on voices seeing as the author uses they them pronouns there were quite a few twists in this book um, so I was um, quite interested in it for like the majority of the book but I I was a bit confused by the ending. I would have liked to see what would have happened beyond the ending. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I would have liked to see maybe some kind of epilogue or... I don't know. I was a bit disappointed by the ending. So yeah, overall, um, there were a lot of elements I liked about this. There were also a couple of elements I liked less about this. I'm sorry if I keep looking off to the side. I am feeling quite hard and I find it really hard to look into the camera. Or even to look into the, you know, the screen where you can see yourself. I find it difficult to look myself in the eyes even at the moment. So I, I prefer to look like everywhere else. I'm really sorry about that. I will, hopefully that will be a little bit better in my next video. So yeah, overall this book. Like, 
it started off nicely and I was expecting, I was thinking, oh, okay, this is going to be great. And then, like, I started to lose a bit more interest further on in the book. So, yeah, overall, I thought the concept was really interesting. And I think if the concept appeals to you and you like, like, young adult science fiction and you're not too triggered by violence, then uh, I would say definitely give this a try. Yeah, I found it a bit more triggering than I was expecting. Um, too much gruesomeness is not for me personally. Overall, I don't regret reading the book or anything. I I really liked uh, the world building, learning about the different decks and even like different dialects and sort of the mystery. There's a sort of little mystery going on as to what's what what's going on with a few. Well, I don't know. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything, but I enjoyed the mystery aspect of it and finding out secrets and things like that. I was a bit disappointed with the autism representation. Well, I think I've said I was disappointed by the ending. I didn't like one character, and our main character Asta does like that character. So, yeah, maybe it's just me. I just didn't. I just didn't understand her. So overall, then. I mostly liked it. I didn't love it like I was hoping I would. Thank you very much for watching this uh, review video and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!